hello friends welcome back to the channel today in this tutorial we are going to learn how to calculate the area of polygon shape file using qgis so let's get started first let's get the shape file from which we want to calculate the area for this go to layer and add vector layer and select the desired polygon shape file so after adding the desired polygon shape file we can see several polygons with different sizes we will be calculating the area of all these polygons so for this first let's check the crs coordinate reference system of added shape files okay now for this right click on the layer and then go to properties after that select the source here we can see the coordinate system is WGS1984 GCS. Well, this is not projected coordinate system. If you already have the shape file with projected coordinate system, then it's okay. Otherwise, you have to convert the shape file to the projected one. Okay? Because generally we calculate the area of polygon in projected coordinate system is we want the result in square meter. So let's convert this file to the projected coordinate system. First, go to Vector and in Data Management tool, select the Reproject layer over here like this. The input layer should be the polygon shape file from which we want to calculate the area. In the target CRS, click over here to find the preferred CRS. We can find it manually or we can filter from here. As my projected coordinate system is UTM zone 44 north. I will be typing 44 north here. So now I can see my preferred projected coordinate system over here. In your case, the preferred coordinate system may differ. You can select your preferred one. So after this, click OK. And click on Run over here. So friend, we can see the reprojected polygon shape file. Now let's go to attribute table of the shape file with projected coordinate system. For this, right click on projected layer and go to open attribute table now click on field calculated over here friend we want to make a separate column representing the area of each polygon so let's check on create new field and give the output field name is area select a digital number and now over here go to geometry double click on this area with the dollar sign and click ok and it's done so friend now let's check the attribute table again so here we can see the area of an individual polygon let's click on the first row and here we can see the first row representing a single polygon so after this we can even copy all the attribute table information to the excel for this go to attribute table and select the all the item by clicking and dragging up to down here after that click over here which copies this item to on the clipboard and finally open excel and right click and in paste option select mass destination formatting and we are done that's it friend i hope this video was very fruitful for you like and subscribe the channel your support would be very much appreciated have a good time see you soon with another video happy learning